Pro Tools has four edit modes. These affect the way that selections, movements, and edits are made within the edit window. You can toggle between these modes by pressing the Grav Accent key. You can also select them with the F1 through F4 keys. Shuffle mode, F1, likely gets its name from the ability you have to be able to shuffle clips around. But it is also an edit mode where any deletion or insertion made has a ripple effect on the following clips of the tracks. For example, if I delete a section of audio, the clips to the right will collapse to the left, filling in any hole that would normally exist in the other edit modes. If you paste anything, the clips to the right of the edit will slide to the right, making room for the paste. Slip mode, F2, for many people, is the default mode they like to work in. This is because it allows you to edit free of any restrictions without affecting the placement of any surrounding clips. Spot mode, F3, lets you type in exact locations for your clips. You can specify bars, beats, minutes and seconds, MIDI timecode, etc. You can also return your clips to their original position they were recorded to using the original timestamp. Grid mode, F4, confines your selections and edits to your grid settings. The grid settings are found in the toolbar in this section here. You can turn the grid lines in the edit window on and off by clicking on the grid button or by clicking again on the currently selected ruler. The grid lines and grid settings can be changed to different values by clicking on the grid value selector. The grid can also be based on different time values. While getting familiar with grid settings, I recommend having follow the main time scale checked and changing the grid time values by choosing different rulers. Grid mode has two different options, absolute grid and relative grid. Both modes work the same for making selections. Your selections will snap to your grid setting. In absolute grid mode, dragging clips will snap the beginning of the clip to your current grid settings. In relative grid mode, dragging clips will move the clip by your grid value. For example, in this situation, this loop starts at the very beginning of the clip and the clip isn't currently on the grid. Absolute mode is perfect for snapping this clip onto the grid so that it is now in time. In this next example, the loop is already in time. If I use absolute grid mode to move it a measure later, the beginning of the clip will snap to the grid, causing the loop to now be out of time. In this case, relative grid works best because it will move the clip back by a measure, maintaining the clip's offset relationship to the grid. Therefore, the groove stays in time. While in grid mode, you can temporarily bypass any snapping to the grid by holding down Command on a Mac, Control on Windows. This goes for both making selections, moving clips, and making other edits. Finally, you should know that you can combine shuffle, slip, and spot mode with grid mode. When you do this, any selections will snap to your grid settings but any editing or dragging will follow the characteristics of its other selected mode. To set this up, first select either Shuffle, Slip, or Spot mode, then hold down Shift and click on Grid mode.